Alright, so part two. Now there's this thing called Live 365. Which um, is another music player. Um, I've never really dealt with this one, so I signed up for an account and I guess I get like a few free days to doing it, so it's not too bad, I guess. That's a little loud. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you kind of get this. It's You have different stations on here. Classic rock. Classic hits, I mean. <laughs> Some Eagles. That's a uh, live 365. It's nifty. Um, you got your settings, which you now change the co color to 8 bit or 12 bit widescreen or full screen, stereo, HDMI, or if you're hooking up through a uh, uh, compositor component cables video settings so it's kind of the different things that you would like to do on here photos just a few menus a few options for your photos if you want to do like slideshows music kind of similar nothing too much File management. Um, network settings, so you know, so you can connect up to it. Um, you can do it through Wi Fi if you have a USB from their selected list. Unfortunately, um, I don't have one, so I have it hooked up to an Ethernet cord right now, so I uh, can't test too much out there. System settings, language, you know whatnot. Pretty basic stuff. Updating it to firmware. That's the settings and there's one last option, internet media, which I didn't really know too much about this until I looked at it. It's Mediafly. I had to go up and sign an account for it, but it's free. But then you can sign then you can subscribe to certain channels, which I have done already. And you can get like podcasts, certain TV shows, so like, well, clips of TV shows. So here's like Around the Horn, it's a ESPN show about sports. And it's like a little 10 minute clip from the previous episode, which it's not too bad. I mean, standard F, but you know, it looks good. But there's other stuff that I have like um, GT trail I mean, game trailers reviews. I'm signed up for that. Um, PTI podcasts, so certain things like uh, we can confirmed. I can play it right here if I want to, we confirmed, and it plays fine. I mean, this is the latest one from the ninth, so a few days ago. So it's nice. I mean, then boom, back out, and it's still playing. While I'm out here in the main menu, and I could be looking at photos, have a little slide screen or whatnot, and there you go. So um, let me show you the device itself. So here it goes. It's pretty small, size of my hand. So I have it hooked up through HDMI, just power, Ethernet. There's another USB here in the back. Plus some stuff for um, audio and video and op um, optical USB slot here on the side, which I have hooked up to my uh, hard drive. So it's uh, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's nice. Um, there's a lot of features I wish it would be improved on, like better remote. So there's a few tons I've had it locked up on me, but it's not too bad. There's a few video formats I've seen that doesn't play. That's like a FLV that I downloaded off the internet. But other than that, it got, gets the job done. So um, I would recommend it. Um, there's some other ones coming out, media players like this, in the next, this upcoming year. 
hot box and boxy from what I can remember. So, um, so it's probably better if you want to wait for them, but otherwise it's not too bad. And the added Netflix support, it does a pretty good job.